so I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks. Trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just... I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that... I guess he's out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right. I can't just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. Sitting there eating a meal by myself. And realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love, to be to kind one another. Like, what, ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? All right, so that clip was on the internet. Uh, this guy out in LA is down in the dumps, having a very emotional moment and deciding to share it with social media. Don't really recommend that, but he's having a moment because he has been stood up for a date with a woman he says that he has been talking to for two weeks i repeat two weeks now here's the problem that i have with this he has brought this woman flowers you know in his mind he probably felt like he really rolled out the red carpet and this woman stood him up didn't even have the courtesy to call or text and cancel the date he's just sitting there waiting and waiting with what looks like to be a dozen red roses and i want to give my input on this roses flowers and candy is something that you should give a woman that you are in a real relationship with I feel like men have been kind of brainwashed by TV, by the media, by thinking that this is a gentleman gesture. This is a sweet thing to do. And to a lot of women, I'm just going to be real with you. You know, I've, I've talked to quite a few women. I probably dated over a hundred women in my lifetime. And I have made a similar mistake in getting women flowers, getting women roses, because I too was brainwashed by the media. I had to learn better. When you get a woman flowers way too soon, it sends a message that you are trying a little bit too hard. Uh, and that can come off as desperate and that can come off as needy. You know, I don't know, but it's a possibility. This woman walked up on, you know, the day, saw this guy holding these flowers and she had red flags herself. Maybe she backed out when she saw him sitting there with the flowers thinking to herself, I've only been talking to this dude for two weeks. We've been texting two weeks. This is our first date and he brought flowers. So that is is a mistake that he made and you know i've made a similar mistake uh i remember i started talking to a very very beautiful woman that i wanted to talk to i mean she was absolutely gorgeous and because i had the money because i had the extra money i had a dozen peach looking roses um, I didn't have them delivered. I delivered them my damn self to her job. And if only I had a time machine and I could go back 15 years and do that differently. I never ended up going out on a date with that woman. This was just one of those situations where I'm brainwashed by the media. I'm thinking this is the thing to do. I'm thinking this is this grand 
romantic gesture and this is really going to send a message and this is really going to set me apart and so you know here at the man of love i'm not trying to get into the whole battle of the sexes men are good women are bad but i just want to say that we have been men we have been brainwashed into thinking that a lot of things that are quote unquote romantic we we try to emulate these things that we see in tvs and movies uh so first off getting roses for a woman that you've just been talking to for two weeks on the first date that is a huge no-no that comes off as desperation uh that's gonna be a red flag if this woman is not absolutely head over heels into you unless you are that dude hell no even if you are that dude don't do it um and so the other thing is this guy you know is is frustrated you know he's kind of heartbroken about being stood up now i've never gone to a restaurant and my date didn't show or i've never gone to a movie and my date didn't show but what happened to me a lot in my 20s uh in my teens and my 20s i would have a date and the last damn minute you know within an hour of the showtime uh because i did a lot of movie dates when i was younger within an hour of the show um or maybe two, three hours of the show, there's a there's a kind of last minute cancel, cancellation. So that's what I've experienced. And um, what that kind of taught me is like, hey man, uh, if you want to do something, then do it. You don't have to have a date to go do something. That restaurant that you went to, hey, it ain't a crime and it ain't a L to take your own self out and eat solo. That's something I had to learn for myself. Uh, I remember at one point in time, I, I was like only going to the movies if I had a date. And then, you know, you deal with a couple flakes and you realize, damn, if I wait till I have somebody to go to the movies with, I'm gonna miss out on a lot of fucking movies. And so around the age of, I think I might've been 21, I might've just said, fuck it. And I started going to the movies solo dolo, enjoying my life. Now, sometimes I have dates, you know, but a whole lot of times I'm living for me. But uh, those are just my general thoughts. Um, let me know what you think. Drop a comment, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. This is just going to be kind of a laid back, chill channel uh i'm a content creator uh, i've got something that's very successful and this is just something that i'm doing for the love of content creation i want to see uh if a community can build giving real relationship advice no bullshit no hot takes i just want to do it you know for the real for the love so for anybody that's listening to this i appreciate your support I appreciate you subscribing, uh, a like, but um, I wish the best for this guy. And uh, last thing I want to say, man, and this might be a little bit controversial, but I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Uh, you got to be real with yourself, man. You're out in L.A. and uh, you look like you're in, you know, your 30s, 40s. Uh, I got to ask you the question. And, you know, this is going to be a little bit, you know, blunt, but I'm keeping it real over here at the Man of Love. The question I have for this guy is, are you trying to fuck up or are you trying to fuck down? And what I mean by that is this woman, when you look at you in the mirror and when you look at this woman in the mirror, is this woman that you had this date with, that you got these flowers for, is this woman, I'm trying to find the right way to say this, is this woman within your reach? Are you trying to reach up too high to, to date a woman 
or is she, you know, about as attractive as you, or is she less attractive than you? I'm just, you know, I'm just asking a question. And that's something you got to be real with yourself as a man. You got to reach a certain point and you say, uh, who can I date? Who's into me? Uh, the old saying is there's somebody for everybody. And that's pretty much true. But we run into problems. And, you know, Kevin Samuels, you know, one of the great things that I, I, I admired about Kevin Samuels is he got women to, to give themselves a number on a scale of one to 10. And basically if they think, if you think you're an eight, you need to be talking to eights. Or if you honestly in your heart, if you feel like you're a six or a seven, are you out here in the world? Are you out here in LA trying to holler at nines and tens? Let's just keep it real. And so, it's about it's about dating who wants to date you and it's all also I feel like life is a journey of growth it's a journey of progression so one of the things I want to ask this dude uh, I'm going to just keep it real how many times are you going to the gym are you working out are you lifting? Are you improving yourself? Uh, what are your finances like? Are you saving money? Are you wasting money? You know what I mean? Uh, what what type of uh, diet are you on? Are you eating a bunch of fucking uh, sweets and excess fats? Are you drinking a lot of alcohol? So it's like you have an experience like this and I feel like this can either make you or break you. If I put myself in his situation, honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first off, I'm never going to buy a woman flowers again, unless she is my woman and it is her birthday or it is Valentine's Day, our one year anniversary, or Mother's Day if she has a child, you know what I mean? That just old buying flowers that ain't the thing to do and real quick before I get off track here's the thing about buying flowers on a first date the way you start is the way you finish you gotta keep that shit up you brought flowers on the first date so now you gotta ask yourself what's gonna be the frequency of buying flowers you, you did it on day one. When are you going to do it again? You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't create these situations uh, where you're just having to keep up this image that might not be for you, might not really be in your budget also. So, but back to what I want to say, if I'm this guy not buying flowers, but then the next thing that I'm doing is I'm going to look at what type of women am I trying to date? Am I trying to go, I hate to use the term outside of my league or above my league, but it is what it is. Am I trying to holler at the baddest chicks in LA? Am I trying to compete for the top 10%, 5% of women with a regular income and a regular body? You know what I mean? That That's what I'm looking at. I would probably, if I was him, I would make some adjustments of who I'm trying to holler at. Uh, that's what I would do. And I would also, instead of crying and getting emotional and putting it on social media, I would take this moment and I would let it fuel me in the fucking gym. I would get into the gym. I would say, you know what? I'm a level up. I'm going, I think he's a comedian. I, I would say, hey. Let me try to see if I could turn this into some material. Uh, let me let me let me work on my jokes. Let me become a better stand-up comedian. Let me try to you know, let me create some comedic content on Instagram 
uh, or YouTube or whatever. Let me get popping. You know what I mean? Let me take a break from all this dating or trying to date out here in LA and let me do the thing that I'm out here in LA for, which is get popping and sling these jokes. So I would just try to take this whole thing and turn a negative into a positive. But, um, that's just my advice. You guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think my advice is off. But um, this is pretty much episode one of The Man of Love. Thank you for rocking with me. Uh, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try to be very consistent. Uh, it's probably going to be like one video every week. Thank you so much for listening to The Man of Love. I will see you on the next video.